Welcome back to The Cutting Board. Today we're going to be featuring a vegetable that is really, really versatile. Cauliflower is one of those vegetables, we're going to use the whole thing today, that keeps its moisture when it's roasting. A lot of vegetables, when you roast them, they lose a lot of their moisture. But cauliflower is one of those that actually keeps its moisture really, really well. And because cauliflower itself doesn't have any kind of strong flavor of its own, it's going to absorb a lot of other flavors. What we're going to do today is roast an entire head of cauliflower. Now what I've done is I've cleaned the cauliflower and I have taken out all the green stuff, anything that's green from the bottom, cleaned it and kind of just got it so that it would sit nice and flat. We're going to use uh, some kind of dish like a Dutch oven or something that's oven friendly for roasting this today. Washed it and then let all that water stay on because that water is actually going to help this to cook during that roasting process. We we'll put that inside once it's clean and we're going to get ready our flavors that we're going to be roasting this whole head of cauliflower in. We're going to start off with one tablespoon of olive oil. Now there's a lot of different flavor profiles that you can use. Like I mentioned, cauliflower is one of those vegetables that takes in a lot of different flavors. When we roast the whole head like this, we could do all kinds of different things based on what other dish we were eating this with. But today I'm going to be making one that's a little bit on the sweeter side to be eaten with like a salad, like an arugula salad. And we're going to start off with that one tablespoon of olive oil. We're going to add a quarter cup of orange juice. Now I have more than a quarter cup of orange juice here. You can, the recipe calls for a quarter. Don't worry about using a little bit more because that liquid inside the pot is actually what's going to help the cauliflower to cook. You're not trying to eat raw cauliflower. We've got the zest from that orange. Like I said, I ended up getting more than a, a quarter of a cup out of the orange juice, so I just used all of it. We're going to go ahead and put that inside as well. And for a totally different flavor, we're going to use just a pinch of saffron. Now, saffron's really a strong flavor, so definitely just a little pinch, just to change it up. We're going to whisk all that together. You see it's quite a bit of liquid. You're probably going to use a little less if you use the recipe exactly. Now for this, please don't use any store-bought orange juice. You want this one to be freshly squeezed. It will change the flavor if you use any kind of pre-made orange juice. You don't mind if a little bit of the pulp gets into it. Once we've got that whisked together, we go ahead and we are going to put this into the dish itself. Now this particular dish, we want to make sure that this liquid is going to get on every little bit of the cauliflower. Don't be afraid to use your hands. Make sure that you're getting that liquid on every little part of the cauliflower. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take this and put it into an oven that's been preheated at 375 degrees. Now to make this really cook, besides putting this in the oven, we're also going to take a baking dish or some other oven friendly dish and we're going to put water in it. And we're going to put that at the bottom of the oven so that the steam from that water goes into the oven itself and helps to cook this cauliflower. Remember, we don't want this to be raw. We want it to be soft when we're actually serving this dish. So this is going to go in for 45 minutes, 40, 45 minutes at 375 degrees. That is basically when the cooking is going to be done. The flavors from the saffron, from the orange juice are going to get into the entire dish because we cleaned off the bottom of the cauliflower. They're going to actually come all the way in. All that liquid that's in the bottom of our dish is going to come inside the cauliflower itself while it's cooking. After those 40 minutes, it's still not ready. Cauliflower takes a while to cook. When that 40 minutes, 45 minutes is done, you're going to take a quarter cup to half a cup, depending on how big your cauliflower is, of coconut milk. 
and you can use a full fat version. Today I'm not using a full fat version, but you can, it'll make the dish a little bit richer. We're just gonna use regular coconut milk today. And you'll pour that on top of the dish. And then you're gonna put it back in for between 20 and 30 minutes until you're sure that it's soft and ready to use. When it's done, you're gonna take it out and you're gonna plate it. Now to go well with these flavors, it's gonna have that roasted look and feel. When it's done, in order to serve it, you're gonna cut it, keep the liquid, this is the liquid from what cooked down in this dish, keep that liquid, cut your cauliflower, you see it's super soft at this point, and it's a really amazing centerpiece kind of dish, something that looks like you're carving it, something kind of a little bit fancier to use. It's actually become really popular right now in a lot of famous restaurants, they're serving whole cauliflower heads. So you're gonna cut that just to give yourself a little bit more space. Then you're going to take that braising liquid that you used originally and you're gonna pour just a little bit more. It's still warm, so you don't want all of it, but you're gonna pour it in just to make sure that those flavors have gotten in on everything. It's gonna start pouring a little bit around on your dish, that's fine. Makes it look nice. And then to finish off the flavors that go really, really well with this orange and saffron, we've got parsley. So I've just rough chopped some parsley, which we're gonna put on top of this. And some hazelnuts, which I also rough chopped. And we're gonna put that on top of our dish. A little extra garnish there. And we have a centerpiece roasted whole head of cauliflower that's ready to serve. Plating this dish really depends on the situation that you're eating it in. If it's the main part of the meal, you could actually take that quarter and serve it with the other things that you were eating. If it's a side part of the meal, then you're probably gonna cut a smaller slice off. But you're basically carving into the cauliflower and getting a slice out. We're gonna do a smaller slice today. And we're gonna take a little bit more of this stuff and look at the flavors. So what you're looking for is to see whether or not all the flavors that you put in that it has been cooking in have gotten into the whole cauliflower. That's what we'll see right now. Mmm, that's so delicious. Since the cauliflower didn't have a lot of flavor of its own, it married all those different things together. It feels so rich, it tastes really, really good. Come back to the cutting board for more plant-based episodes and recipes like this one.